Hi, today we will be learning how to use the voicemail function and change the greeting. By the end of this video, you will be able to locate and navigate to your voicemail function, set up and change the greeting and password for your voicemail, and identify the various features of your voicemail and their applications. Let's get started. To access the voicemail function from the home screen, locate and select the green phone icon. Next, at the bottom of your screen, select the voicemail icon at the far right. If you have not yet set up your voicemail and greeting on your device, then you will select Set Up Now in the middle of your screen. From here, you will be prompted to create a password that will secure your voicemail from outside access. We suggest using the same passcode you use to unlock your device or something you will not forget. For this example, we will use 1855 and select Done in the top right corner. Next, re-enter the passcode for verification and again select Done. From here, you can either select a default voicemail greeting or create a custom voicemail greeting. To create a customized greeting, tap Custom and then press Record to record your greeting. For example, Hi, you have reached John Doe. Sorry I missed your call. Please leave your name and number and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Press Stop when you have finished. To hear your greeting, select Play. Once you are satisfied with your greeting, select Done in the top right corner. If your voicemail and greeting are already set up and you would like to change your greeting, you can do this by simply selecting Greeting in the top left corner of your screen and repeating the steps we just did. When you are satisfied with your greeting, select Save. Once you have received voicemails, they will be displayed in chronological order from top to bottom. To listen to a message, select the phone number or contact name of the individual that left you the voicemail. This will expand the voicemail message controls. From here, you have a few options. The blue triangle to the far left is your play and pause button. Tap this to listen to your message. Below the play button is an option called speaker. Pressing this allows you to listen to the message aloud through speakerphone rather than holding the device to your ear. To the right of the speaker option is an option called callback. Selecting this will call back the number or contact that left you the message. You also have the option to delete the message. Selecting this will transfer this message to a deleted message folder located at the bottom of your list. Tap on this deleted list to see all of your deleted voicemail messages. Select Clear All when you are confident that you are finished with those voicemails. Now you are able to access your voicemail, customize your greeting, and understand the features and controls of your voicemail application. Thank you for watching our training video. If you have any further questions, please do not hesitate to contact our IT department by email at ithelp at msu.edu or by phone at 517-432-6200. Thanks again, and have a great day.